Hi friends, this is Naveen. Today in this video, I will explain about the aircraft brakes. In general, to reduce the speed of any vehicle, brakes acts an important role. In aviation even more due to its high cost and necessity to reduce the speed of an aircraft within the runway. The aircraft brakes must be replaced periodically based upon its life limit. The life limit of the brakes are calculated either by the number of landings or by the wear pin length. The length of the wear pin indicates the life remaining of the brakes. There are two types of brakes used in the aircraft. One is the steel brakes and another type is the carbon brakes. The carbon brakes have the high endurance comparing with the steel brake, almost three times. Uh, thus the life limit of the carbon brakes are higher than the steel brakes. So most of the aircrafts are using carbon brakes nowadays. I will explain you about the brakes, how it is functioning and how it is installed. We are standing behind the A310-300 aircraft, here we are using the carbon brakes. These are the brakes manufactured by the Messier Bugatti. First of all, I will explain how it is constructed. This is piston housing, this is piston, sim and the rotors. The rotating part of the brake is called rotor and the, behind the rotor is the stator. This is non-rotating part of the brake. This is how it, it manufactured. And this is the wear pin. As per this wear pin length, we are calculating the life remaining of this brake. And one end of the piston housing is always connected with the MLG via the steel grid. Now see this picture. Here, rotors, stators and pistons of this brake clearly mentioned. As I told earlier, the rotational part of the brake is called rotor. And stators always remains constant. Now see this picture. This is how the brakes are installed in the main landing gear. Here, the one end of the piston housing is connected with the main landing gear via the steel grid. This connection do not allow the complete brake to rotate along with the wheels. And now when the pilot is operating this brake assembly, the piston is pushed out hydraulically, which creates the friction along with the sim and stators to the rotors. Due to the friction force, the rotors stop from rotating along with the wheels. This is how this brake operated and the gap in the rotor is installed in the wheel assembly. I will show you. Here the brake, brake is installed as you seen in the picture. Here the strut assembly is present. The gap of the rotor is exactly installed here. Thus when the wheel is rotates, the rotor also rotates in the same RPM. Now when the piston is pushed out from the piston housing, it creates the friction in the stator and the sim to the rotor. Thus the rotor gets stopped from rotation. Here the strut assembly of the wheel is present. When the rotor getting stopped from rotation, it forces the wheel to stop rotation, stop rotating. This is how the brakes are operating. The size of the brake gets reduced over the operation to operation. Since lot of friction involved in this operation, this friction forces reduce the size of the stators and rotors. Thus the wear pin length also reduced due to the reduction in the total height of the brake assembly. When the wear pin length is reduced too much, the operators remove this brake and replace with the overhauled brakes. With the increased life, now I will calculate the life remaining of this brake. Let's see. Oh, 19 to 20 mm. Here the wear pin indication shows 19 to 20 mm. It means this brake have almost 40 percentage of life remaining. In convert brakes, 50 mm of the wear pin indication will consider as the 100 percentage of the life. It may vary to brakes to brakes. If we replace with the new sim, we can gain 15 mm of the wear pin length. That means almost 30 percentage we can gain. And uh, it may vary to break to break. If we take a Boeing 737 Honeywell Bendix brake, 2.1 inches of the wear pin indication consider as the 100 percentage of the life. Thus, it may it varies from brakes to brakes. And comparing with the steel brakes, if we if we uh, replace the stators and rotors in this brake, we can gain 100 percentage life. And comparing with the uh, steel brake, the carbon brakes are very high. The prices of the stators and rotors are very high. And these are the basic things we need to consider while operating the brakes. The brakes are installed only in the main landing gears. 
the nose landing gear do not install with the brakes and uh, each wheel have one brake in the sense there are eight brakes rh mlg and lh mlg each four four so total eight brakes we removed and we kept in our stack and i explained about its operation and how it is functioning how it is installed and thanks for watching and please do subscribe